Happy 2018! I hope all of you had a wonderful holiday season. I certainly did, and now I'm back with a simple recipe to kick off the new year. Let's make some dumplings with some homemade dumpling wrappers. I'm going to be sharing with you how to make dumpling wrappers with only two basic ingredients and a very simple dumpling filling. So, let's get started! First, we are going to be making the dumpling wrapper. All you need is one cup of flour and basically all you need to do is make the flour into a dough by adding water. I estimate you will need slightly more than a quarter cup of water, so pour the water in little by little until you have a smooth kneadable dough. Next, sprinkle some flour onto a flat and clean surface. And then with a rolling pin, you want to flatten out the dough until you reach an even thickness. Don't overdo this step as you don't want a thickness that's too thin otherwise it will start tearing. Next, you will need to cut the dough. I find this method extremely easy. All you need is an egg ring or you can also use the tip of a mug. Simply mark the shape on the dough and then with a knife, carefully remove the dumpling wrappers and set aside. Once you're done, the next step is to roll out the wrapper. This ensures you have a larger and a more even surface. Just make sure not to roll it too thin as it is very easy to overdo it in this step. Now to the filling. I'm going to be making a simple pork and cabbage filling. You'll need about 2 cups of finely chopped cabbage. On top of that, you also need about 250 grams minced pork. To that, add in 2 tablespoons soy sauce, half a teaspoon sesame oil, some pepper and 1 teaspoon grated ginger. I like to squeeze out the ginger juice for a stronger flavour, but this is totally up to you. Mix well to combine. Grab a piece of wrapper and place about 1.5 teaspoons of filling onto the centre of the wrapper. Then gently fold out the sides. Check out my other dumpling video for a better close-up on this basic wrapping technique. Once that's all done, place the dumplings onto a frying pan. You do not need to heat up the pan for this. I strongly recommend a cold pan for this step. Add in about 1 tablespoon of oil. Here, I'm using chili oil from my crispy chili I made in my last video. Then, add in a mixture of half a teaspoon of cornstarch with 3 tablespoons of water. If you had poured this in with a heated pan, the water will cause the oil to splatter and that can be quite dangerous. Cover with a lid and let that simmer on low for 8 to 10 minutes or until you hear a sizzling sound. It means the water is almost dried up. At this point, your dumplings should be cooked. Remove the lid and let it continue to sizzle until all the liquid has evaporated. Then you're done! Gently and carefully place a plate over the pan and flip it over. The purpose of the cornstarch is to bind the dumplings together so you'll have a nicer dumpling cake. Serve that with some crispy chilli and enjoy! You can also store uncooked dumplings in the freezer by simply placing them onto a tray making sure they do not touch each other. Leave that in the freezer for 2-3 to three hours and you can store them in a container or a bag for up to 2 months. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.